Hello YouTube, it's Michigan Cavi Girl, and I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while, but if you check out my update video, you'll be able to see why, and just things like that. And my update video should be up before this video, and if not, it should be up right after, so just look out for that. So today, as you can see, I have a quick haul. I went to two different pet stores today, and I'll just show you what I got. So first pet store I went to was... PetSmart. Sorry this video is shaky guys. I've been looking for a tripod but I haven't been able to find one that I really like. So anyway, first thing that I got was this Great Choice Cat Bed in the small size. Um, I was looking at the guinea pig slash like ferret beds that they had and they only had like three and they were all from the same brand and I think it was Super Pet um, and they were like specifically ferret beds and it was about 12 to $13, and it was much smaller than this one. It was not as long and probably about that much shorter in width, so like from there to there. And um, so I was about ready to get it, and then my mom was like, oh, well, let's just check the cat beds. You know, they're kind of similar, and that's hence the cat face. So we looked, and we found this bed for $12.99 which was about the same price as the smaller ferret bed. So we just picked this one up because it's much larger and it's just as soft and it was the same price. So that was the first thing we picked up. The next things were um, like replacements for the contest because if you watched, um, I think it was my update video, you saw or heard that the last time I went camping my mom gave my guinea pigs some of the contest prizes. And that actually happened again while I was on vacation in Pennsylvania. So here are like the replacements for what she gave to my guinea pigs. These are the Apple Orchard Sticks by Super Pet. The original pack that I'd bought for the contest was actually KT brand, but I decided to go to a different store so I didn't purchase the same brand. So it's Super Pet, it still comes with 10, it's pretty much the same thing, just that's what was convenient for me. And then I also picked up this Not Nibbler, or Nut Not Nibbler. The original one for the contest was just the Not Nibbler. However, my mother gave that away to my guinea pigs, even though they already had one. So because that's open, I don't feel right giving it away in the contest. And when we were shopping, I was kind of in a rush. So without thinking, I picked up the Nut Not Nibbler. Um, I don't know much about hamsters or rabbits, but I know guinea pigs shouldn't have the nut that's inside of here. And I know it will probably take a while for whichever small pet you have to actually chew through, like, the wood. But just keep a close eye on them if you do win this. When it does get down to the point where they can get the nut, make sure you take the nut out because it's not good for them to have. So that's just a little heads up for that. And then also while we were at PetSmart, my mom, um, because she came with me, she actually was like, oh, hey, Timothy-based food, let's get this, because it's cheaper than Oxbo. Without noticing it, we got chinchilla food. So we'll probably have to take this back. The ingredients are very similar to guinea pig food, so we'll have to look up if it's actually okay to give it to them. So if you guys know, please tell me so I don't have to make an extra trip out if I can use this for my guinea pigs. But as of right now, I'm planning on taking it back. But I will do research to see if they can actually get use out of it. So that's everything I got from PetSmart, and then I went to Pet Supplies Plus, and I picked up a few things. The first thing I picked up was this Gertie guinea pig food, and this is just going to be like treat food for them because, as you can see, it's got a lot of, um, it's a mix. It's got a lot of dried fruits and colored pieces and things in it. And the only reason why I picked this up was because I've heard from people that their guinea pigs really like it. So I picked this up and also it was cheap. It was pretty inexpensive. It was $5.98. So I just decided I'd pick this up as a treat for the guinea pigs. Next I picked up these Ecotrician Wacky Wabbit treats, and these will be for the contest. I mentioned in a previous video that I would be adding more prizes. So this is one of the additional prizes, and it is Carrot and Alfalfa Twist. And I still have to pick up one more additional prize for the contest. 
foot. The last thing I got was this uh, five pound bag of the KT Supreme Fortified Daily Blend. And I picked this up because I realized that I had bought in Chinchilla Food. And my guinea pigs were in pretty desperate need of pellets. So I didn't have the money to buy Oxbow while I was at the store because I kind of spent it on the other stuff at PetSmart. So I picked up this KT Supreme Fortified Daily Blend. And it is alfalfa based, but my guinea pigs won't die from it if they just eat it for a little bit. And this was also very inexpensive. It was $4.98. So, $5 guinea pig food for a 5 pound bag, which is like a dollar, a dollar a pound, which is really good. So, those are all the things that I got today while I was out shopping. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And also, please check out the um, update video. I'll be sure to have that up as soon as possible. And it'll just be talking about a few things for the contest where I've been, and things like that. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Quick shot of the piggies. There's Penny. And there's Ruby. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!